Hello everyone, Professor Lobit here. Today we will see the fourth method, a design of flexible payment that is MacLeod's method. Here Norman MacLeod conducted a uh, extensive repeated plate bearing test on airfield and highway payments and developed a design equation using different plate sizes. Here the equation is T is equal to K into log base to the, uh, base to the 10 P by S where T is nothing but the thickness of gravel base or pavement, K is nothing but the base course constant, P is nothing but gross wheel load in Newton and S is nothing but total subgrade support in Newton. So whatever the base course constant is depend on the whatever the loaded area. Okay. And the subgrade support that is ES for design is calculated from the support measured or calculated for the 30 centimeter diameter plate at the 5m deflections at 10 repetitions. Clear? So this is the graphs which the MacLeod used for the design. Here you can see that on x axis the perimeter to the area ratio is given by p by a that is nothing but 2 by a clear on y axis you have the, the ratio of subgrade support for the deflections to the, the deflection 0.5 centimeter on a 30 centimeter diameter plate here we have the different deflection for those like 0 0.125 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 and 1 centimeter deflections okay according to that we're going to see the different p by a ratios whatever ratio is supposed to be okay and here you have the bearing plate diameter whatever the bearing plate diameter for that what the base course constant k is supposed to be the k from the formula you're going to get from this graph clear we look into the one one of the problem and try to understand the design method here okay this let's take down the problem design a highway payment for a wheel load of 41 kilonewton with a tire pressure of 0.5 newton per mm square the plate bearing test is carried out on a subgrade soil using 300 mm dia that is 30 centimeter plate yield a pressure of how much 0.25 newton per mm square after 10 repetitions of load at a 0.5 centimeter deflections okay here they are not provided to you the a a is nothing but the whatever the area okay that is given by this a is nothing but root of capital p divided by pi of small p what's the load here they given you okay what's the load here 41 kilo newton that is nothing but 41000 newton divided by pi and what is the pressure here 0 0.5 so you're going to get the nmm 161 m that is the a value clear Next perimeter by A ratio area ratio that is given by 2 by A 2 divided by 161 that gives you 0.124 okay now referring the graph so the deflection the k1 as a 0.5 centimeter hence in a graph the values of the p by a we got 0.124 so somewhere it comes here okay the deflection is something around so the deflection they provided in the question as 0.5 okay so for that if I intersect this line of having the deflection 0.5 on y axis it comes around 0.9 the ratio will be 
point nine, and that is given or written. That is for p by a. Point one to four, and point five centimeter deflection. The ratio. What you got is. Point nine five from chart. Or clear. Now, for this ratio, x is nothing but for x divided by point two five. Point two five is nothing but the plate load pressure. Clear. So x is equal to x divided by point two five. That is nothing but equal to the whatever the Ratio you got from the chart. From this, you going to get x is nothing but a pressure of 0.95 into 0.25. You going to get 0.24 newton per mm square. Now to find design subgrade. Support on what three twenty two mm velo diameter. Three twenty is nothing but one sixty one into two. We have the radius of one sixty one multiplied. We got to get the diameter. Okay, that is given by the formula S is equal to nothing but What was the pressure you got? That is point two four into pi r square. That is nothing but point two four into pi one sixty one square. Or you can write pi by three twenty two square divided by four. Okay, it is up to you. Answer going to be same. From this, you going to get the yes. That is total subgrade support one nine double zero kilo newton. So nineteen point eight. That you going to get nine newton. Okay. Then you going to find the k value from what graph. Here you have the Bearing plate diameter is three twenty two. Okay, this is twenty forty means thirty. There will be after that it's going to be somewhere here three twenty two. It's going to be thirty five. So here, if I intersect here, I'm going to get some k value. This k value I will take it as a k for plate having wheel. Load diameter of three twenty two mm. That is nothing but thirty two point two centimeter. Okay, so by the chart, you get K value as ninety. Clear? So we input in a formula. T is equal to k into log to the base ten p by s. So k is nothing but ninety. Okay. So log of p is nothing but the even already forty one kilo newton. Okay. And s value you got here. So here you get the twenty eight point four centimeter as a Thickness of gravel base. Okay, so for that you can provide fifty mm bitumen scores out of the whatever the thickness you got. Clear? Okay. Take one more problem for the assignment. Design a highway pavement for a wheel load of fifty one kilo newton with a tire pressure of 
0.5 newton per mm square by maclord's method the plate bearing test carried out on a subgrade soil using 300 mm dia plate which yields a pressure of 0.3 newton per mm square after 10 repetition of the load so calculate here at 5 mm and 2.5 mm deflections so in one problem only the given you have to calculate for 5 mm deflection and one more is 2.5 mm deflections clear okay so end up here thank you for patience hearing